Hello everyone, welcome to Frontend Pathsala. Today in this tutorial, you will learn how to build a calculator from scratch. This is how a calculator will operate after writing code. So, without delaying, let's get started. Let's start coding the HTML part. Here I will create the main div and give it a class calculator. Calculator consists of two parts, the display and the keys. So I'll create another div and give it the class display to which I will give the default value 0. In the another div I'll give the class as keys. And inside that div I'll be keeping the button tags. Since calculator has many keys, I will just copy paste this button tag many times and to each button tag I will give values such as add, subtract, multiply, divide and numbers like 7, 8, 9 and so on. Next we need to style this page. So I'll be creating a new file style.css and I'll be linking it in our HTML file. I'll start styling with the body tag. In the body, I'll give the background color. You can give any color of your choice. Display flex and font family. Next, I'll take the calculator and I will give some width to it as well as some margin. Margin top. Okay. Next, display. I'll give uh, background color black. Now the text is not visible, so I'll give color as white and I will align it to right. I'll give some padding to it. It's small. Let me just reduce it. Okay. I'll align it to the center. So, let's divide content center. Next, I'll take the key. Here, we'll use the CSS grid concept. So display grid and grid template column as one fraction four times. Now I want to move this equal key to the right. So I'll give a class to it button equal and in the CSS file I'll add first background color. Then I'll give grid column and row. It looks fine. Now let's give the CSS for the button. I'll change the color of the button equal. Yeah, now it looks better. Font size. I'll change the font size of display as well. Now 
ओके नाउ लेट इज एड डेटा एक्शन एट्रीब्यूट सो दैट यू कैन इजिली आइडेंटिफाई ऑपरेटर डेसीमल क्लियर एंड इक्वल की I want this uh, operators to be in different colors so I will add class button operator and in CSS I will give background color to it Now we are done with the CSS part next we have to work on the functionality so I am creating a script file as script.js and i will link it in our html first we need to listen all the key presses for that i'll create a variable calculator I'll use the query selector method which returns the first element that matches a specified CSS selector in the document Similarly I'll create another variable keys Let us write the click functionality. If the target matches the button, I'll just give console dot log as high. Let us test this in the browser. Click on the button and it gives hi. Okay, so it works. Next, we have to use the data action attribute to determine the type of the key that is clicked. So I'll be creating a variable. and action if the key does not have a data action attribute it must be a number key so console.log number if the key has a data action that is either add subtract multiply or divide we know the key is an operator Control the clock operator. Following the same thought process, we'll do the same thing for others.
we are getting console.log response from every calculator key. Next, we need to know two things. The number of the key that was clicked and the current displayed number. We create a variable display. Now if the calculator shows 0, we want to replace the calculator's display with the clicked key. So display dot text content is equals to key content. And if it shows a non-zero number, we want to append the clicked key to the displayed number so displayed number plus key content so now let's test in the browser I'll click on the key 9 and it works Next we have the operator display dot text contain is equals to key contain let me test minus ok it's not appending so we'll just add display number plus key content now if we test this five nine ok is working fine now when a user hits the decimal key or decimal should appear on the display to create this effect we can concatenate dot to the display number okay next it's clear display dot text content is equals to zero now when a user hits the equals key we need three values the first number entered into the calculator the operator and the second number let us find that Now after calculation the results should replace the displayed value so display dot text content I'll be calling the calculate function. Here I'll be declaring the function.
if operator is add then the result will be n1 plus n2 similarly we will do the same thing for others change the name return result remember first value and second value are strings at this point if you add strings together you will concatenate them so before calculating the result we have to convert the strings to number we can do it with parse float let's test again now it works perfectly we'll just do it same thing for others that's it guys i hope you liked the video please let me know your feedback in the comment section below and you can get the source code through the link given in the description thank you for watching this video please do like and subscribe take care stay tuned bye